Right, we are back to do another sparring breakdown video. We have Klaus on the left and Chris on the right. Klaus's first day back at training, has been, been away for a bit, he's been away at a, and living in another city. And these guys are just gonna have a nice flow roll. And uh, I think it's kind of nice to do a little breakdown of two blue belts flow rolling so I can kind of point out some of the stuff I like to see out of my guys. And also just like good club etiquette, like what you should be doing when your friends come back from training. I think it's really easy just to kind of like jump on the when your friends come back and just want to smash them and stuff but these guys actually do a good job of like playing pretty light and playful uh, with each other uh, especially after one of them is coming back from a break uh, I think it's really like something I really try to push in my academy is like making sure people take care of each other uh, you know no one's here to really hurt anyone we just want to we want to get good rounds in and, and have fun and learn some jiu-jitsu you know um, so yeah, in the beginning we just kind of see these guys kind of starting to get their games warmed up, starting to move around. Um, a little more focus on pinning than I'd like them to be. I find like blue belts in general, when uh, they first, kind of, like, it really takes the kind of blue belt level to get like a good idea of what kind of like a flow roll should be, or like just a lighter pace roll, you know, but I think in the beginning you're still really kind of still focused on like positions and like keeping pins and like trying to hold the person and stuff so like to get a little bit more like freedom and creative in your movement takes time you know it takes experience uh, you do see good exchanges from these guys and like something I, I'd want for my blue belts and uh, that's just gonna kind of develop with time you know like the more experience these guys get the easier it's gonna be for them to flow between positions and you see, like, now that they're, like, a couple minutes in, we're seeing a better job of them to start to kind of flow between some guards and some different positions and stuff. You see Chris had a really nice back step pass here. Really good way to shut down that Deli Hiva that, that Klaus was playing. Again, just, you see, uh, Chris is very good at pinning, and this is nice to see him, like, create a little bit more space for some movement to happen. We see a really nice little single to double from Klaus here. Uh, we've been working a lot on single legs and stuff in class. I really like singles as a way to escape side control. You see these guys being really active here trying to work those escapes. Again, we see Chris in return doing a good job of staying on his side. Uh, something I really like to see in my blue belts is them just really making an effort to stay on their side. See Chris working his half guard here. Getting flattened out a little bit. We see Klaus moving into the mount. Again, these guys doing a good job exchanging positions, looking for attacks. See Klaus kind of taking his time here, looking to free his leg. He's in a good position for a back step pass. There we go, he hits a quick little pass here. So he's moving over the head. Chris Turtles. Now Klaus is in a good position where he can start taking the back. You see him play a little wrist tie here, puts his hooks in. Now he's in a position where he can start looking for some chokes. Chris doing a good job clearing a hook. You can see him doing a good job stepping down on the ankle there, turning in, and moving his way back into side control. So again, like as the time goes on, you just see these guys slowly kind of speeding up, making it a little bit more competitive. Nice single from Klaus, good sprawl, and yeah, you just see good movement. Like, uh, again, this is, what, this is what I kind of expect on my blue belts, is for them to have like a nice, more flowy light roll. Um, you see Chris starting to move in some arm bars and stuff. And I think like really kind of what you want to see out of blue belts with their flow rolling eventually, is them to get more comfortable putting each other in submissions. I think I think blue belts in general are quite protective still over the submissions. Like they still value them quite a bit. They don't want to like let their friend put them in an arm bar or let their friend put them in a choke. You'll see this from these guys a little bit later, but they still need to like open up more into it where they're more comfortable letting those submissions flow. Like there's a good example of an arm bar kind of coming up organically. And just like a nice catch and release from Chris. He's got a triangle opportunity now too. And it's getting re used to that like catch and release mentality that's just gonna help you transition better, where you're gonna get more opportunities for more submissions. Um, and it's just gonna make you a better grappler, better at Jiu Jitsu, you know? And now we see Klaus returning with an arm bar too. And Chris doing a good job.
good job coming back on top. And it's just, you know, like this is just kind of how you start to develop as a blue belt, you know, like I think as a white belt, you spend a lot of time just kind of like learning the basic positions and building some situational awareness, get an understanding of what's going on. And as you kind of move into blue belt, you need to kind of like dive deeper past uh, the basics in that sense. Like there, I, I say it all the time, there's like, there's layers to the basics, you know, like what you think, you know, if psych controls a white belt, it's going to be completely different at blue and so on to purple. And then, you know, all the way to black. It's like an ongoing pursuit of those basic positions and a deeper understanding of them. So a lot of that gets like discovered a lot in the flow roles, you know. You need to be more willing to open up and play a bit more freely, stop trying to control everything and just kind of let stuff come up organically. And again, we're just seeing nice transitions from these guys. Good wrestling. We were working on a lot of wrestling lately, so it's nice to see these guys hitting you know, singles and doubles from their knees, using those wrestling positions to escape uh, side control. You see Klausuna being a bit cheeky, trying to sit up and push him over. Didn't quite get the leverage he needed for that one. Chris doing a good job pinning here. Let's see how this goes. They're getting close to another group. I'm not sure if they'll get much else. Uh, Chris going for a little near side arm bar here. I'm always pushing him to do that more. He's got good flexibility for it. Klaus doing a good job of protecting his arm. Keeping his hands locked. It'll be hard for him to get it going from here, but there's some nice transitions around this position if you can't keep it. See uh, Chris moving into the mount now. Working for a cross-collar choke. Klaus doing a good job framing on the arm. Passing his hand inside. Trying to recover with his knees. Klaus turning in. Chris just doing a good job staying heavy and good base. Klaus having a hard time getting back on his side now. Again, Klaus just coming back. He doesn't have as so much gas as Chris, so he's a bit more winded. See Chris looking to. I uh, see Klaus do hit a nice little reversal here and start moving on top. Again, kind of like back in the half guard and blue belts is like it's all half guard you know all these guys spend a lot of time here uh, working through the half and again like Chris give them that, that that leeway to kind of keep moving to keep the, the scrambles moving and the movement alive again we see Klaus looking to uh, set up an arm bar looking on a lapel choke we've been working on a class here Pass the head, hand behind the head, but nice to see a little like catch and release too. Okay, we'll see Klaus sit back for a nice bone arrow choke here. Playing with the arm, and yeah, see, this is just kind of like better transitions for both these guys. It's more what I want to see out of the flow roll. It's like more submission attempts, more submission escapes, uh, just kind of getting more comfortable in the submissions. I think that's like a really hard hard thing for people to get used to is uh, those scrambles in, uh, in the submissions. Like that's where you really, really want to develop good situational awareness to help you work your escapes. Uh, you know, that's that's stuff that's going to save you in tournaments, that's going to save you in the gym. Uh, you want to just be really good at transitioning around the submissions. See so Chris kind of working on that farm, looking for Kimura. Also stepping over the mount. I think these guys are going to run out of time here in a second. Chris doing a good job pinning the bicep. Yeah, and that's where that's where time expires. So yeah, uh, anyways, I hope you guys like this role. Um, I think it had some, some value to it. It was nice to see two guys kind of move through some positions a little bit. They weren't super competitive. They weren't holding that much. So we saw a little bit better scrambles from both these guys. Um, if you guys like what I'm doing with my channel, please like and subscribe. And uh, enjoy. See you guys next time.